Now, it has emerged that the Japanese government was notified of Mitsubishi Materials' plan to apologize to American POWs forced into labor during World War II before the apology was issued last month. The news seems to reaffirm earlier speculation the Japanese government was, in fact, involved in the apology. Connie Kim reports. Prominent Japanese firm Mitsubishi Materials notified the government of its plan to apologize to American prisoners of war last month. Seoul based Yonab news agency reported Thursday on the comment made by Yukio Okamoto, an advisor to Japan based Mitsubishi Materials Corporation, raising speculation that Mitsubishi Materials had gotten permission for the apology from the government. Okamoto also made clear that the apology was solely extended by Mitsubishi and said the government has previously reaffirmed that it had already apologized to prisoners of war for their brutal treatment during wartime and it has no plans to compensate them. Last month, the Japanese firm issued a formal apology for using American POWs as slave laborers during World War II. In response, the Japanese embassy in Washington had said the apology was made solely on the Japanese firm's initiative and that the government was not involved. Japan's chief cabinet secretary Yoshihide Suga refrained from commenting on the matter. In his remarks, Okamoto drew a fine line between the prisoners of war and the tens of thousands of Korean victims of the forced labor program. Okamoto said Koreans were technically Japanese citizens during Japan's colonial rule. And their situation was totally different from that of the American POWs. An estimated 6,500 Koreans were forced into labor at Mitsubishi's affiliates, with more than 4,000 forced to work at Mitsubishi Mining, the predecessor of Mitsubishi Materials. Connie Kim, Arirang News.